All right. I tried this without flux and did not have any luck with it uh, wetting to the copper, so I'm going to go ahead and do it with flux. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the bottom side of this piece of copper. What they're doing is they're running these things through a machine for plating purposes. And when, what they want to do is when one, uh, one, when one line of copper is running out, they want to add another one to it and join them together in the process to go through the plating tank. Okay. They want about a one inch overlap, which we've got here. Now, they, some of these are, have the solder on them, some don't. This one does. We're going to use the solder that's on it, okay, to make the joint. I want to get it in about the middle of the copper and about this end of the joint. The reason for that is they want the leading edge to be as flush, flush as possible. Hang on a second, I'm going to twist switch. Okay, I'm going to be up here by the run light so you can see how long this takes to activate. I'll turn it so you can kind of see the solder when it flows. Okay. You see the flux is activating, that's where the smoke is, see the solder melt. You can see it flowing. Now we watch, you're going to see it bubble up a little bit on either side. Okay, that's really plenty of time there. I'm just going to give it a little extra squeeze here to make sure I got a good, nice fit. I'm going to hold it and let it cool. And they've got about 60 seconds of um, operating time to do this in, so you can see we've more than accomplished that. All right, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'll let go, and I'm going to turn it over. You can see the solder wetted all the way along that seam. Can you see that? Yeah, hold it for a second. Very so I know good. it got good flow all the way through that joint. That's, that's the video we'll shoot out for.